Hello, this is Red McNed, and welcome to the song. What? 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 Wait, where am I? Ah, so this is what it's like being sucked down a whirlpool. You're just kind of stuck in the spot here. Today I'll be taking care of a few kind of odd job type things around, mostly because I just finished a big project and I am a little bit spent. But there are things to do. Much ado and things to do. So, we're here with all these lovely villagers have been slowly collecting and they, that they have. I've also been slowly trading with them though, so it's cool. I've got a little strange system here. If you can see, got a few poke holes here. Basically, if I like a villager up here, if I go around and say, hey, what's up? Lure? Oh yeah, I, un I unlocked you. Lure three? Okay, cool. Uh, so you take your picture, get out of here. <laughs> Put that there before someone else can fall in. And you got uh, another person for the collection. All right, so maybe I should say this this isn't meant to be humanitarian in any sort of way. It's oh, that person moved. There we go. I was waiting for that. These are like my temporary holding spots for uh, villagers I like. So far, let's see, was that yeah? That's the silk touch one. Uh, knockback two. That could be useful. What did you have? Punch two. Production two. Eh. You know, it's, it's just whatever. This was the one who had three emerald for a bottle O enchanting. And. Let's see. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Nice. I mean, I know I just bought that from you and I threw it on the ground. But that, that's what it's supposed to be done. What are you up to? You seem like you regret being down here. I'm going to build you your own thing. I'm finding all sorts of fun ways to get emeralds. I'm not sure if I'm sold on the toolsmith or the weaponsmith. The Fletcher, the fisher. I'm mostly concerned about librarians. Librarians, I think, are the ticket. Beyond trading coal, though, there's not much I can do with uh, a lot of these. What, what, what are you looking at? Yeah, that guy's got the right idea. Oh, wait, no, not anymore. No, no! Maybe they all realize that I'm using them in the most using way. Oh, look, they kind of... Maybe they're talking to each other. But yeah, a lot of trading is going to commence here. So that's what's going on. I'll cut back when I got some progress. I noticed that it's actually getting really difficult to um, wrangle these villagers, so I'm, I'm trying to basically corner them every chance I get. I've got a new system though. I've noticed that I have to get rid of the ones I don't want as this population happens. How how did you get down here though? Like I saw this 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 little fool. Yeah, that's right. I, I don't know how you got down here. I hope that they're not breeding down here somehow. I have messed up and thrown some things. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I've decided some of these can go. So, I've created a little bit of a dumping, flushing type thing. A little trash suit shoot for uh, anybody that is just not useful. So, yeah, you might think something like this is cruel, but I think you should replace that word with progressive and then you'll have the idea. See? Wait a minute. Whoa! It's a revolt! <laughs> oh, gonna jujitsu! <laughs> ha. Not so easy to kill me after all. So now you may be thinking, what happens when I push them off of there? Well, let's find out together! Actually, that'd be. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's working. You saw that little platform. What? What? Oh, glitch. 
That's where the... Yeah, that's the slime farm down there. I've got this platform here. I built it here first. And then realized they're not falling for that trap. So I put a closer one here. It's got a middle. One, two, three, four, five. Pretty much just drop here and kill them. I don't know how else to get rid of them without losing... You know, feeling really bad. So I just kind of let gravity do the dirty work for me. <laughs> also, this isn't me directly killing them. This is them falling, and I'm using air quotes. Pretty hard. But anyways, yeah, that's that's what that is. So yes, now that I know that, I can say, oh nope, you're gonna get flushed. Uh, yep, you're getting flushed. You know, just. This is like drafting your your team, essentially. Like in school. Except that the people you don't want... Oh. Depth charge. Ooh. I am ever so curious what your second book is. So here... I'm, I'm going to do a little haggling se session. First off, I hear he likes paper, so... You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him what he wants. Or whatever. And all right, all right. So this this is where you kind of got you know put up with the put up with their you know this, this their their stuff. You gotta you know play you know play the play the game a little bit. Like pretend to be interested in the in the crap that you know they're trying to sell. Like oh oh really oh yeah you know. And when you sweet talk them enough, be like oh yeah that glass is very valuable. You know you just like lie to their face, but you have to. Because that's that's how you eventually get their trust, and they get you. Uh, you know, I might keep you just for your first enchant, but if Depth Strider Three comes along, you're out of here. <laughs> but I keep drawing a crowd. I don't I don't like this. <laughs> Something's changed, hasn't it? I've changed my system. Look at that. I have a pile of villagers now. And they've all got the in, the, uh, the enchants. That, well, that's... Did you have a better one? Eh. Okay. okay. Did you have a better one? Uh, okay. I'm, I'm keeping all the villagers I want in this lovely pile here. And I'm getting a system down to be able to get these in the carts. Now, ever since 1.9 came out, people have had trouble due to collision boxes. Collusion boxes. So what I've found is if you push them all the way back, put down the cart, put another rail in front, they'll push out, and they're in a cart now. You can get rid of those. And then you can go shopping. Push your little cart in the supermarket and go shopping. Pretend there's not a huge person in it. And there you go. You're now a part of the in crowd. Not the out crowd. Dad! Ah! Why? Actually, I've been down here for a little while. I want to I wanna see if there's any any good stuff going on here. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> I love you. I love you. What? Get, get, get out of here. You get out of here. See, you... You might have something good. Let's get through the tech tree. And... Alright, yeah, you're, you're, you're okay. Farmers, we only need one. And like I said, you know, don't, don't feel bad for them. They, they could have, they chose not to have good trades. You know? And this is this is the price they pay for their uh, not not having good trades. Uh oh, this one's gotten smart. This one's taking a, a child hostage. But I think he I think he has to realize that. I don't care. You're all going. All right, I'm, I'm running out of space. It's not a bad problem, but it is kind of a problem. All right. Yeah, so... <gasps> oh! Oh! Live. Don't die. 
Stay, you are my new favorite. I love you the most now. <laughs> hey, what? No, what are you doing? No, no, they're carrying me away. No, no. Oh. Never mind what just happened there. Uh, the uprising was quelled. So rest assured that, you know, all the, all the culprits were dealt with and uh, disciplined severely. But that's not all we're up to today. I'm very happy to say that now that 1.9 has gotten its act together, for me, map walls have also gotten their act together. Which means this can finally be turned back into what it's supposed to be. If you weren't aware of it last time, oops, we're making a map room. And when I checked back on it, all the maps had been absorbed into the wall. And to my massive confusion, when I broke the blocks, various numbers of the maps would come back. So I'm, I'm going to do this again. So far so good. I think I have the order messed up. Yep, something is not quite right. I wonder if that's new. When you knock him off the wall... Oh, whoa! What? What? That looks really weird! What? <laughs> it's like super ominous. I... Okay. That didn't look like that last time. I wonder... What's going on there? Whatever it is, I like it. What? How did that... How did that get rotated? That's stupid. <laughs> the reason why I'm happy this is done is that I'm going to change something in this city here, and I don't want it to reflect on this map. I want to get rid of a house that's supposed to have burned down this one right here. So I want it to appear on this map, but I don't want it to actually be in the town. So that if you saw this map, you'd say, hey, wait a minute, there's no house there. Which would make you want to investigate it. So this over here is the house that gets burned down in that one scene. I forget where it is, but this is where the map makers were supposed to live. House supposed to get burned down. One of them escapes over the wall. The other one's presumed dead, but we'll talk about that story a little later. The fact is that since the map room is updated, I get to get rid of this and it won't reflect on the map room, but the map room will be like, hey, there was a place here, which is exactly what I want. So here are some supplies I'll be using. These are important because I want to show that at least like some pieces still exist from the, uh, from the old place. So like, actually, you know what I might do is, uh, sink them in a little bit. Get it? Cause that's a sink. Yeah, I'm horrible. I really should have brought an axe. All right, now we're ready. And I'm probably just gonna like go to town. I might leave some of the more substantial pieces, but for the most part, the flimsier pieces, the higher up they go, the more likely they'll be gone. Like most of this roof, all of this roof probably will be gone. And I want to keep some of the floor plan. I think I want more traces of things the further in you go, but out here, maybe not so much. Maybe a little bit here and there, but... Alright, I think that's good. That's, that's enough to be kind of like, well, alright. Now since there's some foundation here, I don't have a problem doing a little bit of this. Just little little spots of uh, of stone, smooth stone. I'll probably mix it in with other types too. Ooh, actually, you know what? I might even get a little basement. Let's see. I might put like a bookshelf, maybe a crafting bench, like down on the ground right there. Just like little clues that there was something here. Maybe maybe a chest survived too. It would actually be really interesting is if I had a tree growing out of the middle of this. We could have a we could have a pretty typical looking uh, tree happen, just right in the middle of this. <laughs> not not too old looking of a tree, just you know a tree. Yeah, that looks okay. Secondly, 
Oh yeah, I like that because it looks a little bit more like a, a shrub or a bush. Sort of different looking stuff going on, hopefully. It's going to help kind of obfuscate things. There might even be some intrusive growth. Like that. Like that. Because the thing is, this would be really unsightly probably if like people saw this on a regular basis. But like if it was kind of shrubbed out a little bit, then people wouldn't see it. You know what I mean? People might even forget what it is. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll put a few more bushes out here too. Just to really kind of block the view. Because I, I, I do want this to be pretty hidden looking. Like, I want to at least give it a good shot at being hidden. Just a lot of them out in front, so you like have to kind of peer through the uh, the stuff to really even get a good view. Let's see, maybe one more right here. One more nice and big one. Oh, I didn't bring bone meal. Oh well, I'll I'll get that another time. But for the regular framework of this, I think that looks pretty good. Just scanning from the outside, you can tell that looks a little different. But, you know, not too different. If you really want to go in, take a peek, you definitely see, oh, okay, something, something existed here. So if you were visiting this place and stumbled on this and you had no idea about the story of the map makers or anything, you would at least be somewhat intrigued and be like, well, something definitely did happen here. And you know what? Maybe since I do have a chest here, I'll leave like a clue in here. That's not the clue, because, well, okay, whatever. All right, the details are coming in. It's the deets, they're looking good. One last thing before I sign off for this episode is I have, I'm looking at another location to start building. I want the whirlpool to not be a village of its own, but I want it to be connected to a village that's a little further away. So it's like a pilgrimage that you would go to. Um, or like this place knows about it and knows enough about it to not build a place right next to it because it's like sacred ground or something. So what I want to do is have a little village in the middle of with like this type, this, this sort of deadly forest around it. And there's like an oasis in the middle where there's like, it's basically another hidden village. Probably eventually I'll have like, if you keep traveling north, which I'm, I'm christening this direction north, um... You'll get places that are not hidden villages. They'll be like part of bigger things. But for now, that's kind of the theme. So I want to throw that out there. So that I did scout out another cool looking area. There's going to be the next few episodes, I think, risk being shorter. Just because the last project was so big. And it took up a lot of time and I was late on it. So a lot of things have fallen behind. But I still want to get these episodes out, and I still want to do cool things in them, because I still have cool things that I want to do. So, uh, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one! Where'd you come from? Get out of here!